Hey y'all, I'm Parisian and this is Dream of Parisian Tarot. We're gonna get a few cards from my Scorpios, okay? And happy birthdays to my Scorpios. Also, um, in the pre-shuffle, I was seeing that someone could be a bit indecisive right now or trying to make some type of decision because it looks like y'all may be wanting a fresh start or having a fresh start, all right? But you could be cutting certain things out of your life as well. I'm going to step your spirit. All right, so the first card I'm seeing, they can't play with your intelligence. Okay, someone could be trying to make you confused or um, play you like you stupid or something like that. Okay, someone could be trying to trick you in some type of way, but it's just not working. Your outfit is the bomb. So, whatever outfit that you got or plan on wearing or something like that, your outfit is the bomb. But somebody was trying hard to lower your self-esteem. So, okay, y'all birthday, y'all could have been having a pretty outfit or maybe y'all bought a pretty outfit, about to get ready to wear it and stuff. But somebody trying to make you, um, like, talk down on your appearance or talk down on your outfit in some type of way, all right, because they hating or something. Uh, you awaken every soul around you. So, some of y'all are definitely star seeds, light workers, healers. And you could be dealing with an overprotective man. You got a lot of prosperity and success coming towards you. And there's someone who has a lot of hidden feelings for you. They didn't know how valuable you were. You are loved and protected by your angels. And she's obsessed and can't stop talking about you. So there's a female who has your name in their mouth and they're obsessed with you and can't stop talking about you. But A A A, that means abundance is coming in. And we got a wedding planner. And people love the way you do things. They thought spreading rumors about you would keep you stuck. So this person that can't keep your name out, they might have been spreading a whole bunch of rumors about you to get you stuck. We got courthouse. And there's some type of favoritism between siblings going on. Celebration could be coming up. It could be your birthday. It could be some type of party or something. And your cousin could be in competition with you. They mad at what you post. So you are being watched. And you could be making big purchases. Trying to interfere with the divine contract. So you have a divine contract with another person and someone's trying to interfere with it or take your love or something like that, okay? We got travel vacation. Maybe y'all could be trying to figure out where y'all want to travel to. And there's some type of social injustice going on, all right? So it's like a group of people talking about you, some type of injustice. You could be being dead wrong. You could be a dream walker. I'm seeing child support. Somebody might have to go to the courthouse for child support. You put it where it is. Family got in a way. This could be your family, his family, somebody's family. I'm coming down there to see y'all. So you could have a family member coming down there. Or you could be that family member that's coming down somewhere to go see someone. All right, someone could be chanting, yes. Someone could definitely be chanting your name, all right? This could be a come to me spell, or this could be someone that is, like, really, really missing you. Because some people don't realize, because, you know, words are spells. Some people don't realize that they be casting spells with their words, with their intentions. That's why you got to be careful with your intentions and what you say, all right? But I, I really don't feel bad energy from that. And plus, I was getting some of this same energy in the pre-shuffle. Somebody wants to be with you bad, okay? We got tinted windows. So, which means either someone's trying to get in your business, all right? Or some of y'all could be either getting tinted windows. So someone could have it. Works at a post office. 
older female family member could be involved. This could be your mama, grandmama, auntie, put a weird fix. And who did she get pregnant by? Which means people in your business wondering who you got pregnant by. Or this could be somebody around you, you put a weird fix. Whatever's on your mind, just say it. Which means you might be keeping certain things to yourself. But I really don't blame you. Because right now, it's like execute your plan but don't tell nobody because there are certain people who are trying to cause blockages or issues for you okay you need to watch who you hang with yeah most definitely trying to steal an opportunity from you and that's why you need to be very careful and, and people don't want you to be confident in your decisions as well because you keep like leveling up or doing good and they want you to do bad so definitely, like, keep everything to yourself. But your ancestors are talking to you, trying to help you out. And you got a good outcome, so don't worry. And it says, I know what I want now. So someone's starting to realize that they know what they want. And they see you at peace. And it's actually disturbing other people seeing you at peace. That's crazy, ain't it? You are unforgettable, all right? And you need to stop ignoring your intuition. So your intuition is already telling you something. So pay attention. A ex-friend is worried and thinking about why you got distant. Well, you got distant for a reason. You didn't peep something, seen something, heard something. They didn't say something. Whatever it is, you got away from that person. If your intuition is telling you to get away from someone, you get away from them, okay? Some type of drama at a school is going down. How do I keep your attention? Yes, somebody wants your attention and want to be with you. That's why they are chanting your name. And there is dark energy trying to attack you, so protect your energy, okay? Someone will be reaching out after going ghost. Start, starting to see people for who they really are. That's good. And it says, his friend group is involved. So, your masculine's friend group is involved in this situation. It says, you're out of my league. Your spidey senses are tingling. Just means your intuition telling you something. You outgrew old friends. So, you're growing here. You got top golf. Somebody could want to take you. We got separation, and we also have an Aquarius could be involved in this situation. Let's run away together, which means someone could be stuck in a relationship or obli obligated to other people or things, but they do want to run away with their lover. It says a photo you posted is driving them crazy. And a karmic male gave them bad advice. So another dude was giving your masculine bad advice about you. You need to look up your ancestry if you haven't already. And you got a check in the mail coming in. Or some type of money, period. That's why we're saying hey, 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 abundance coming in. I need to know your location. Somebody wants to know. I'm seeing something about a girl's trip that could have something to do with the travel vacation being right there. Transportation issues. They realize you are not a groupie. So somebody was trying to play you like you was out there, like you was talking to this person and that person, but they realized that you're not. A karmic is being dramatic. <clears throat> you look very put together. Yes, yeah, something about your look people love because you do got your outfit is bum up here, but somebody was definitely around here hating. You need to cut them soul ties with people, like old friends and stuff like that too. Stay away from insecure girls. So there was some insecure girls that was hating off you. Maybe because of your outfit, your intelligence. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And your prosperity and success. But you, again, you are protected and loved by your angels right there. I'm also seeing something about cosplay. Maybe you like cosplay. And supernatural things are happening. Okay. So, when that card comes out, somebody can also be getting karma for, like, messing with you or doing something to you, okay? Also, know if this is not happening directly to you, it could be happening to your person or somebody around you. So, put it with every fix, okay? I could be saying he when really it could be a she. So, flip it and reverse it how need be. And, y'all, please don't forget to hit that like button, all right? It really helps out my channel. 
<clears throat> as soon as I open up the deck, the energy from my Scorpios is... We got beauty and the beast. You need some space in a relationship. Yeah. So this could be a love relationship. This could be a friend relationship. This could be family. All right. But you do need space from another person at this time. And we got Miss Spiderweb. It says, reconsider your alliances. Make new connections. So you need new alliances. You need new connections. Um, things could be throwing you for a loop at this time. But really, just let things unfold, to be honest with you. Because you got some good things coming that you might not even see that's coming. It's like everything is happening how it needs to be happening. So when you receive what you get, it'll be stable. It'll be balanced. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll be focused on not com your complete happiness or this reward or whatever it is, okay? So let people do whatever they about to do. Just get away from them. Yeah, because no, now we got head child love. Positive, uplifting, new friends. It's like something maybe getting let go or cut off so new energy can come in. Or like genuine energy because you're about to have some type of new beginning. My Scorpio. The mermaid and the turtle. An elder will teach you. So someone can have some type of wisdom or knowledge and they're going to teach you something. Or you could be the one that has the wisdom and knowledge and you're teaching another person something, okay? But when you see turtles and stuff like that, um, Whatever it is that you want, it might not come in the time that you want, but it's definitely coming, okay? It's surely coming. Once upon a midnight dreary, creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow. So you could definitely be creative, all right? Um, you could be a poet, a, a singer, rap, whatever it is, um... But you're a genius at it. And people are recognizing that you are a genius, okay? Also, when this card comes out, something may have caused you some type of pain. But you could be creating something beautiful out of it in some type of way. At the bottom of the deck, Quazid... But hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Quit Zalkotu, I guess. I pronounced that right. And the priestess of time. The time has come. The time to act is now. So there's something that you need to take action on. It's something. It has something to do with your creativity. Whatever you create, a postal. Maybe you got a um, um a podcast. Whatever it is, like something else may be getting cut off or slowed down because there's something that you need to be doing or handling right now. It's time to act on it, okay? And I'm seeing a lot of green and blue. So something might have made you blue and sad and mess with your heart chakra. So you need to be you need to be working on your throat chakra and your heart chakra at this time, okay? So there's something that you need to express, get out, and it's gonna help heal your heart. That's what I'm seeing. A new world is born. Something new is being born or created or formed for you. All right. As soon as I open up the deck, what we seeing for my Scorpios? The chariot. So you will be having some type of victory or success, okay? But look, notice how it says this way, that way. Like I said, y'all could be indecisive or confused on what to do at this time or what to choose, okay? Indecisive. But we got the Empress. There's somebody that's on their way to you. They say, this could be... You could be that child's mother or maybe they want children with you or something like that. As you can see, she's pregnant. Um, the empress is usually pregnant or a mother of some kind. Or you're just very loving and nurturing and abundant, okay? But they want to be on their way towards you. But there's someone who may be blocking them or having an issue with this, okay? Because the queen of swords was right under there. Please have a few cards for my Scorpios. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to bring you so much love. So, like I said, you could be an artist of some kind of creating something new or 
coming up with some type of new idea. But there's also somebody who wants to come in and apologize to you, okay? They want to give you their brand new cup of love, all right? The Queen of Wands, they feel like you're very beautiful. You're the best at what you do, okay? But they also feel very regretful thinking about some type of past memories that they had with you. Also, you could be highly wanted by multiple people when that Queen of Wands energy comes out, all right? The king of wands. Yes, the star. This person is wishing for you. This person is like setting out on a conquest to get to you in some type of way. Or feel like there's some type of obstacles or burdens in the way from them getting you. So it's like they're trying to draw out a plan or make out a plan just to get to you because you're their wish come true. All right. You they wish fulfillment. The yeah, somebody feel like it may be a, a battle to get to you. Something in the way. We got a king of swords. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also have Leo energy as well. They want to get something. They also want to get something out their chest at the same time. It's going to take a lot of strength. Or maybe you're just very intimidating to this person, but not in a bad way. More of a like, I don't want to say a scary way, but like, it's more like, I don't want to say the wrong thing to mess up things even worse. You get what I'm saying? But they definitely want to come towards you and get something out their chest. They've been watching you and analyzing you, even though they may be acting really cold. But they're trying to muster up a lot of strength because it could be some type of um, conflict going on or maybe some type of disagreement. But like I said, this person want to give you love, but also got something that they want to get off their chest. It could definitely be more than one masculine who wants to be with you. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay? But the truth, they want to speak the truth to you. But see, you don't trust this person. They could be hot one minute, cold the next, texting you one minute, ghosting you the next. This person could be a bit of a playboy. But something about your work, this could be maybe someone, maybe you're talking to someone at work or maybe you are an artist, like I said. Something about your creative work is being talked about. Someone could be saying that you do magic, all right, or you do spell work or something. The emperor. This could be your father. Your father could be wanting to talk to you about something. Or this could be a boss. Because the emperor is like a fatherly energy or like a boss type energy. Somebody with authority. Somebody who feels like they have some type of authority over you. Wants to talk to you about your intuition or something that you know. There's some type of collaboration going on behind your back. It could be your family members being involved. All because you're getting some type of attention. And they feel bad. Somebody feel bad about trying to attack you because you was getting attention for something that you was doing. Or maybe it's just your beauty. But it looked like it's attacking someone's work or something. Or your, or your beauty. You've been working on your beauty, maybe. Something like that. Because we did start off with people talking about your looks. You get what I'm saying? And someone trying to play with your intelligence. Like... Somebody wanted you to doubt yourself or your self-esteem towards something that you're working on. Now, if you're working on your health, that's what it is. If you're working on your craft, your creative work, that's what it is. If you're working on um, anything that you're trying to do, okay? Someone's I open up the deck, what we see here. Yeah, they stealing your image and pretending to be you. Someone was trying to make you doubt yourself and the things that you're doing and the way that you look and stuff like that because they want to steal it from you. They want to become you in some type of way, okay? I don't care what people have to say. So other people could have a lot of opinions on you. They could also be taking these opinions to your lover and maybe even your father or someone who has some type of authority over you, okay? maybe a sibling maybe maybe a sibling is talking about you to a parent or your father 
But anyways, it says, I talk about you, but he defends you. So your masculine, yeah, people it are going to your, your friend did your person, you. okay? So it's definitely some type of fake friend of yours who was talking to your masculine about you behind your back. Let me put this at the bottom. It says, I'm losing sleep over this. So they definitely, have, definitely haven't uh, sleepless. And somebody's name could be Devin because I ain't even mean, mean to say Devin. But somebody's name could be Devin. But I'm losing sleep over this. <clears throat> You didn't deserve that at all. So, yeah, they know that you was dead wrong. Now they losing sleep over it because they could have been listening to these lies at first or letting something go on that they shouldn't have. And your blow up got people in their feelings because they definitely hating off um, your, your outfits, um, your success, stuff like that. And the karmic wants to speak to divine family. Now, remember, karmics are not always the other woman. Karmics can be family members and friends, too, but they really hating off some type of business improvement or some type of work that you got going on okay but like i said there's someone that's feeling bad about doing this to you because they're starting to realize that that's what you was being attacked for all right and it says i won't stop fighting for this connection so they don't want to give up on y'all's connection okay and it says go act like her friend so i can see what she doing so this was a fake friend or somebody that was close to you now if you don't hang out with friends and you only hang out with your family members sometimes we see our friends as our family or our family as our friends so put it where it fits for you but they just didn't want you to have him so they were doing all this to block your abundance um your business improvement um and to knock you from being with your person because they just didn't want you to have him okay at the bottom it says i need to talk to you but i'm scared to reach out to you so it's like they want to have this conversation with you but at the same time they don't want to say the wrong thing or mess up things worse than what they already are okay as soon as I open up the door, we'll be seeing. Yeah, so somebody was dealing with multiple people. It says one stands out in the crowd. So even if they were dealing with many suitors, it's like they love you the most or something like that. And then true love, okay? See, somebody got to release and let go of somebody that they was dealing with or those mini suitors, period, because they do truly love you. And they could be hanging out with their friends or getting information from their friends. But remember, we just seen the card talking about karmic male gave him bad advice about you. So they listening to other people about you and it's some bad advice. But this connection has divine protection. All right. Even though they could be messing it up. Yeah, it says past return. So they're going to return to you. They want to take the lead, take some type of risk with you, right? They want to overcome the obstacles with you and the problems. And they put you on a pedestal. So it's a maybe. So it's like this connection has potential. But somebody's having financial issues. And plus this was sticking out at the bottom rumors so it's a whole bunch of rumors and stuff going on about you and they definitely listening to them but they also having financial issues at this time as well so it definitely the potential to happen is there for y'all but you got to give get over a few obstacles first all right as soon as i open up the day we'll be seeing it yeah, so you're out here changing lives. So something that you're doing is impactful in the world, okay? Because some of y'all definitely start seeing light like workers too, right? All right. But they need you to tell them how you feel. So you might not be open up and expressing how you feel. And it says your possessions contain your energy. You have to be careful with um, giving your things to certain people or letting people borrow your things and stuff like that. Um because somebody's trying to possess your energy. Somebody wants your energy. So you're really going to have to protect yourself. And other dudes are jealous of him because he got you. So it's like if he listening to his homeboys and stuff like that, they jealous. And trying to attack you because they see you coming up. So it's your success. It's your energy. They want a piece of your energy or eat off of it or become you. And that's why you got that card talking about stealing your image and pretending to be you. 
Plus, it says she trying to get him to be seen with her so she can hurt divine feminine. So these other females that he dealing with are intentionally trying to hurt you or attack you by like um, being seen with him or you hearing that he was with her or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And they mad because they say the new version of you is too expensive to sit next to and they know it. So it's like you look like you then bossed up you look like you didn't upgrade in your life all right then transformed and they upset because they want to bring you down yeah he knows that the the karmic is crazy and wants to attack you but he's not having it so he is trying to protect you in some type of way and he say i see your worth now more than ever so he didn't see your worth at first and that's a problem okay but now he see it now he's changing his mind now he wants to fix things okay now he wants to put you on this pedestal and people become obsessed with your energy and that's why you have to protect your energy okay they lent me something and now i feel obligated to them so, somebody lent somebody something and gave somebody something. That's what I'm saying. Don't give nothing to nobody, okay? Just keep all your stuff to yourself, okay? Just call me and I'll be right there. So, this person want to be here for you, but he got toxic people around him. People are pulling him back down into his toxic ways. I love you, but use them. So, your masculine could be dealing with people to get things out of them. Mm-hmm. He is using them for money. They want you to come to their party or event, but they don't even like you. So be careful when people just wanting people to see you at certain events. I don't like that. They want to take you to a game. People be hurt when they can't be your friend no more. So someone's trying to attack you because you distance yourself or cut them off. You could be over emotional and everyone knows that something is up. Waiting for the right time to sweet talk you. So they want to come in, like I said, and fix things. They need help paying their rent or mortgage. Got caught stalking you. And it struck a nerve when she disrespected you to him and he took up. Flo this masculine is taking up for you, but he's still dealing with multiple people. And that could be a big issue. But there's a lot of potential between y'all if he, I don't know, he may have to work on his financial issues. Or maybe you're having financial issues, but money is a big issue here. And other suitors are a big issue. But it's like, if he's the one with the money issues and he's dealing with all those people, it's because he may be benefiting in some type of way all right so if he can stable that part and anybody hanging with people that don't like me is not my friend and i feel like that's coming off in your energy you are getting rid of a lot of people or maybe they just falling off on their own okay but whatever let it happen because like i said a whole group of new people coming in and some type of abundance is coming in for you but you don't need a whole bunch of sharks around you when you receive your abundance you get what i'm saying yeah he told her he still has feelings for you so they could have went cuckoo crazy trying to attack you or do something to piss you off in some type of way because your person out here putting you on a pedestal you get what i'm saying Yeah, they got mad because you invested in yourself and became successful. That's exactly what's going on here. They're trying to find out what race or ethnicity you are. You're not tripping. The shade was meant for you at work or about your work. They say ever since you split up from her, she's been trying to attack. Like I said, you cut off some type of fake friend or maybe it was a family member. They've been trying to attack you ever since. You got seeing their ex at a party. If you ain't seen your ex at no party, your person could have seen their ex at a party or something. And it was definitely a conversation that was being had about you at some type of party, okay? Because I was seeing that in the pre-shuffle as well. But it says, the more I'm away from you, the more I realize I love you, okay? So this person... It's like you making them believe in love again or you making them realize a lot since y'all broke up or in separation or something like that, all right? And you're making them grow at the same time as well. So they want to come back towards you because you feel right or you feel good or something like that. Or they just want to do better by you, period, all right? 
right. As soon as I open the deck, we'll be seeing from the Scorpios. We got the Sun, which is Leo. And we also got Capricorn. Capricorn definitely got something to do with the situation. Capricorn and Aquarius energy. Um, Aries too, yeah, Scorpio. Another Scorpio could be involved. And then we got Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Heavy on that Cancer energy. Because Cancer was sticking on. Yeah, and I was here. Cancer, Jupiter, Sagittarius. Mercury, Gemini, Virgo energy. Mercury came out again. Gemini, Virgo. Gemini. Pluto, which is Scorpio. Heavy on the Scorpio energy. Saturn, which is Capricorn. And Leo. Heavy on the Leo, too. Leo. So, please like this video if it resonates at all. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all.